All right, buckle up first because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of the Bayankule tribe of Uganda. Now, these folks have a tradition that is a bit, shall we say, unconventional. This is known as the potency test, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Oh, Afro. All right, picture this you are a young man or set to marry the love of your life, you've got the cows for the dowry, you've got the best traditional outfit ready, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself. But wait, there is one more hurdle to cross before you can tie the knot. You've got to prove that you are potent. And no, they don't mean proving that you can brew a potent cup of traditional banana beer. This is something else. But why this test and what's the point? Well, the potency test, also known as the virility test or fertility test, is a traditional practice that was historically used to ensure that both the man and the woman are capable of bearing children before the marriage. This practice was rooted in the importance of fertility and procreation in the Bayankole society. While having children is seen as a crucial part of marriage and family life. The ceremony involves two tests which are both carried out by the bride's aunt. The first is the virginity test and the second is the potency test. This is exactly how it goes down. The groom is taken for a test drive. This doesn't necessarily mean intercourse, but intercourse isn't ruled out either. During this test, the supposed aunt learns all the sexual tricks to be used on the groom and then reveals all these secrets to the bride as a wedding gift. It's like a twisted version of a driving test, but with human rights issues. If things don't go as expected, well, the groom falls back to being a certified bachelor once again. Now, I know what you're thinking. This kind of sounds like a plot from a soft porn movie. Well, you may be right to think so, except this isn't fictional to begin with. In fact, this practice has been heavily criticized as a violation of women's rights and dignity. Thankfully, the Bayankole tribe have moved with the times, education, urbanization, and a healthy dose of common sense have led to many traditional practices, including these potency tests. So there you have it, a glimpse into the unique and slightly eyebrow-raising cultural practices of the Bayankole tribe. Are you all in for this cultural practice? I'm reading your comments right away. Do share with your friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. I'm your host Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay amazing. Stay safe. Peace.